Hello, how are you? I'm the Amateur Logician from AmateurLogician.com. Hope you are doing well. At my website, you'll find an extensive tutorial on traditional verbal style logic and Aristotelian scholastic logic. There's also a very partial tutorial on propositional logic and on this very YouTube channel, moreover. I have a course or a series of videos on the textbook First Course in Mathematical Logic. But in any case, I want to show you a good book that's the next step if you want to dive a little bit deeper into Symbolic Logic, and that's Beginning Logic by E.J. Lemon. It's an old book, it's a concise book, it's a zero-fluff textbook. In that sense, it's a little bit more difficult, for sure, than most introductory textbooks out there. But it's still very good, and it covers topics you will not find in beginner books. So let's look at the table of contents. Chapter 1 is on the propositional calculus, the nature of logic, conditionals and negations, conjunctions and disjunctions, the biconditional, and further proofs. Chapter 2 continues propositional calculus, or propositional logic, formation rules, theorems and derived rules, truth tables, but also the consistency of propositional calculus and the completeness of propositional calculus. So these are not topics you will typically cover in an introductory logic book designed for, say, a philosophy course. And even if you're a math major, you may not even encounter these topics. Chapter 3, then you get into predicate Calculus, logical forms, all and some, the universal quantifier, existential quantifier, elementary valid sequence with quantifiers, general quantifier arguments. And then the chapter four is on predicate calculus two, formation rules and rules of derivation, substitution, derived rules, consistency and completeness, Identity, the syllogism, and properties of relation. And then you have some appendixes, normal forms, the elementary theory of classes. And if you look in it, it's a zero-fluff textbook. It doesn't have like, all these nice charts and tables. There are exercises in this book, so you can definitely practice in this textbook. And in general, I really like it if you want something a little bit more advanced, if you want to step up your game. This is definitely a book to... To check out. But in any case, um, if you want more content like this, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I have many more book reviews. Sometimes I go in much more depth. For example, I have many videos on Peter Kreef's book, Socratic Logic. I also have a few videos on um, Bach Huber's book, Introduction to Logic. And of course, I have the ongoing series of many, many videos dealing with first course in mathematical logic which covers propositional logic and predicate logic. In any case, thanks for watching and be well.